So today I'm with Fatima. Hi. And I'm going to cleanse and tone her face and moisturise. This is something you could do if you're going to go to bed, you know, so you've got gorgeous clean skin. Or if you want to start to do, you know, you want to do your makeup and you want a really nice clean canvas, this is perfect for you. I'm going to keep it very simple. So let's get started. First of all, I need a Fatima to relax. So if you can just sit back, because this is supposed right. to be nice. And this is what I do to all my clients, but you're going to be doing it to yourself and I'll talk you through it. So first of all, I'm going to remove the eye makeup. Now I tend to use like long calm is nice it's an oil based makeup remover so this is good for removing any eye makeup especially mascara all right so i'm going to be a bit vigorous here because you don't want to spend ages doing this i probably wouldn't be this rough on a celebrity <laughs> but when you're doing it yourself you just want to get it off, you know? Yeah. I mean, you probably do this to yourself, right, Fatima? Yeah, every night. Very good girl. <laughs> Look out for me, darling. Yeah, I can't go to sleep if I, have work, if I wear makeup. Right? Oh, see? This is the person that you want to listen to. I mean, she's got great skin anyway, but the reason being, because she takes her makeup off. <laughs> right. So now we've taken the eye makeup off, I'm just going to remove any oil, excess oil. So let's just wipe that round. These are just cotton pads with water on, you know, so just run it under the tap, make it simple for yourself. Then you'll find that a little bit more excess mascara and general gunge will come off. But that's all good. Because you don't want to wake up like you've just been out the night before. This is something you can very easily do yourself. And if you get anything that's a little bit stubborn, get a Q-tip. I'm going to pop it into the oil-based makeup, eye makeup remover, and just give it a wipe round close to the lashes. Yeah, sometimes in the mornings I, I see that I've a little bit of residue. Little, yeah, a little bit of mascara in the root of my lashes. Yeah. Even though I thought I took... Yeah, know, sometimes it does just, just stay there. Sometimes, well, people do say, and I don't know if this is necessarily true, but if you wear a lot of mascara and you don't take it off properly, it tends to kind of impregnate in here and what, um, kind of elevate you having dark bags. Mm. Which would kind of make sense. Yeah, I didn't know that. I mean, that would make people take their eye makeup off, <laughs> wouldn't it? But I don't know if that's 100%. But it kind of makes sense. Yeah, it does. Right, so we're clean. We're clean of eyes as much as we can without me rubbing them too much that they're going to hurt, OK? Because it's not about being painful. Right, and then I'm going to move on to a cleanser. I'm going to use Bioderm. This is just like a micellar water. It grabs any um, like makeup and pulls it off. Yeah. So even if you've had something on all day, you will still have some residue on there if it hasn't worn off, because it does wear off. Yeah. So this will just grab the excess and just put them on some cotton pads. Just wipe it across your face. There's no technique to this. You just need to make sure that you get every area. Sometimes people will think that this is this is good, this is the skin clean, but really this is just one step before you get it really clean and then you have a great base to work on. So don't just think this is good enough, people, because it's not. Now I'm going to move on to the cleanser. This is Estee Lauder Take It Away. I like this. It's a cream cleanser. I tend to use this quite a lot at work. It smells quite fresh. Smell that, see what you think. It smells really nice. Yeah. yeah, and it's quite lightweight, not greasy, kind of works for most skin tones. Um, it might be slightly perfumed, but it's on and off so quickly, it really won't make a difference to you. So I'm like, I'm rubbing my hands, like with a moisturizer. I spread it all over the face, under the chin, and this, now I start really working it 
around the nose because some of this is where you get like cloggy areas and dry patches and normally when I'm doing someone's face work I really try and suss out the skin and this is what kind of thing I would do first because sometimes when you look at people you can't actually see if they've got bad skin if they've got makeup on they can hide a lot of stuff and by doing this I remove all the makeup and then I really can see by touching as well exactly what is going on so I can remove any dry skin I can feel what's there and also I'm doing a bit of lymph drain. How does that feel Fatima? It feels really relaxing. <laughs> well that's always good. I mean it's good to relax people when I get them in my chair. I tend to do this. This is if you've got any stress. This will like disperse it. A little bit of stress there Fatima. <laughs> Let's work on that. <laughs> and then you've got you know the um, pressure points around here. Lymph drainage. And this is always good for the cheekbones, drain, alter the lymph glands, and then pinch around the jawline. This will get rid of any excess fluid. And then that's kind of seeped in, feels quite dry. I use some wet cotton pads again, just water, yeah. tap water, and then just take off all of the excess. Now let's have a look at what's on there. See, it's still dirty. Might not be as much, but they're still there. I mean, I do that massage on myself at home before I go to bed. I mean, it doesn't take that long. I mean, how does that feel for you? It feels really good. Yeah? And actually, I'm really keen to learn that massage. I mean, it didn't take that long, did it? No. And then, just with the wet cotton pads, make sure they're not too wet, because you don't want water all running down your face. I mean, if you're at home, it doesn't matter, but I would do it with either a flannel or cotton pads. Uh, if you use a flannel, make sure it's uber clean because you keep on putting a flannel on every day, using it to wipe stuff off. It's gonna have bacteria on it. If you've got spots, it's gonna spread. Mm. So I always think cotton pads are great. There are little mitts that you can get which are really good a rougher on one side and smoother on the other. But how does the thin skin feel for you now? It feels really good and it doesn't dry. I usually like after cleanse, my skin is quite dry. Oh really? Yeah, this hmm. one's really good. So that's a really nice, fresh, glowy skin. And all I've done is cleanse tone and we haven't even moisturized yet. So watch out for that.